Okay, let's drive to work. Let me just adjust my camera. Oh my god, I'm late. It's so late. Damn. I've been kind of weird lately. I don't know why. I'm always late. And to be honest, today's Wednesday. And I was supposed to film this video on Monday morning when I drive to work. And I forgot my SD card in my laptop, which is okay. I was like, yeah, no worries. Let me just film it on Tuesday. And guess what? On Tuesday, I forgot it too, which was yesterday. Oh, this is not okay. So I'm filming this on Wednesday, way too late. What's going on? Way too late, but you know, life just doesn't go the way you want. That's why let's just try to work. Guys, let me tell you about my weekend. So, yeah, I didn't tell you about my weekend. I talked to you on Friday and posted it on Sunday, I think. So on Friday after work, I had a friend coming over for dinner and I cooked, what did I cook? Yeah, Thai curry, as usual. I don't know why I always cook Thai curry. Even a week before, I cooked Thai curry. Which is was very good actually. He never had Thai curry in his life and he definitely missed something. I'm not saying that mine is like the best, but Thai curry is very good. What what did he do afterwards? On Saturday oh Saturday was super stressful. Saturday was like a super stressful day. So I woke up pretty early, then I met a friend, we went to IKEA. Can you imagine IKEA Saturday? Whatever. Okay, no, first we went to um a mall to get some coffee to get some Starbucks and then we went to is this like I don't even know if this is filming the proper way I hope so I don't know anyway after Starbucks we went to IKEA because I had some stuff I needed some some stuff from there you know <clears throat> and I ended up spending 230 Swiss francs for just like little things that I needed, like nothing crazy, right? That's how that's how IKEA works. You go there and you just spend too much money. I bought I don't know how I bought so many candles and what else? Like a little side table, nightstand, stuff like this. Like nothing crazy. I spent too much money there. Anyway. And after IKEA, the stressful part actually started because I went to a little get-together in the forest with some friends and I met Tina, one of my besties, at 1.30. I picked her up at 1.30 in Zurich. So I had to, after IKEA, I had to drive my friend back home, then drive me back home because I had to unload all the things I bought in my new apartment stressful in my new apartment then I went home took a little shower and actually left like I had between my shower uh, between arriving at home and, and leaving again was like 10 minutes okay left went to Zurich picked up my fr uh, my friend and some uh, her friend and her cousins at the train station so we went to this little forest and we arrived there around 2.15 and at 4 I had to leave again because at 4.30 I just turn on the lights at 4.30 I met my parents because I got like a little TV stand media board, media stand, whatever from a place called Ricardo which is very, it's like, it's like eBay in Switzerland we also have eBay, but it's just like more popular there, Ricardo. And the thing is, this this thing is so big and so massive that, well, it's not that big, but it didn't have enough space in my car, so my dad had to come with his work thing. He works in construction, so they have like, you know, those big cars, the thing with the open deck, whatever. Met my parents there, and then 
picked up the the furniture. Yeah, furniture for one. What, I don't think. Why is it so exposed? Better. Picked up the furniture and drove to my new place. Dropped it there, and as we would actually load the furniture. I was starting to get like a, a headache and once we were at home in my new place my headache was like so bad and every time I have a headache and I do something physically like in this case I had to unload the furniture with my dad I feel like my brain pops out of my head it's like bam bam it's like a knocking and I was like oh my god my brain my, my head hurts so bad but my mom had like this Italian drug that you can take for headaches and I took one but it didn't actually go away and then afterwards I went home still with a headache I was like you know what let me just I wanted to go back to this like this get together in the forest but I was like you know what my head is just exploding let me just chill at home so um la, la, la. What the hell did I was saying? So I went, yeah, so I stayed in and I was just like not in the mood to leave. My hair was still like hurting. And I made, what did I do? Yeah, I cooked like, mm, yeah, I cooked like a veggie sausage and some french fries, some oven french fries. I don't like, like, I don't like when they're like um, fried that much. Which was really good. I love, like, I do my french fries really, really good. So you took, like, the frozen french fries you, want, you can get everywhere. And then to make them, like, deluxe, you have to put some olive oil. If you have, like, a spray one, put the spray one. I just have, like, the regular one. Some olive oil, not too much. Maybe one tablespoon for, like, depending on how much you actually make. I said one tablespoon and then I start to put like a garlic powder, paprika and onion powder and stuff like that and hot sauce and then you put in the oven and they become so crispy and so delicious oh my god they were insane and I don't like sauces on my french fries I just like them plain because they have so much taste when you make them the way I do it. So that was my Saturday. I went to bed pretty early. I think it was like 11-ish. You know. And Sunday, I didn't do anything. Literally anything. No, uh, anything. I mean nothing. I was just laying in bed, um, edit the video, the previous one of that, the one that you're seeing right now. And my head was like so bad. I was supposed to do something for my day job, but I could not. Like, I could not. It didn't work. It didn't work at all. So I just stay in bed all day. And oh my god, it's so foggy. It's crazy foggy. Wow. That's beautiful. I say that every day. I, th I say that in every video. And by the way, I need to get a haircut so bad. So that's Sunday. That was Sunday. Oh, the lights. Wow. What else? What did I do on Sunday? I wanted to go. Did I go out? No. Oh, I ordered pizza on Sunday. That's that's very good. I was so. I just wanted pizza. I don't know why. I love pizza. I need to do some way better. Still love pizza. But. No, my Sunday was like relaxing because this week I knew this week will be super stressful and next week will be super stressful too because I have some very exciting news for you yes on next Thursday September 17th I'm getting my new keys for my new apartment. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I didn't want to tell you, but I am so excited. I will 
post a video about my old apartment like the one I'm living right now uh, because he never got like a really apartment tour so I think that would be a nice video just to show you how I lived until then and in this video I will explain the reasons why I'm moving I'm so excited so you can imagine how stressful how stressful that is so basically in Switzerland it works like this you can leave okay it's it's kind of complicated but let me just explain how like living in Switzerland works you live in an apartment usually you rent it out because it's so expensive buying something which is normal in almost all countries when you get in you get a contract in that contract it's written it's like it said when you can leave your apartment usually is by the end of March and by the end of September and you have to actually um, how do you say that like cancel your apartment three months ahead so if you want to leave by the end of September you have to I think write the letter by the end of June they say okay I'm leaving um, in the right period until September 31 but if you want to leave before which is possible you have to find three possible new people that could live there that's the only thing you have to do like bring them three people if not and you already have like in your apartment you have to pay double the rent so it's kind of complicated and it's kind of expensive I will I will explain in another video everything like everything money related here in Switzerland I will explain to you how that really works so yeah and I was looking for an apartment and I actually visited the one I'm going to move in April of this year and it was already empty and I knew because the, the entire COVID situation it would be really difficult to find someone new that would take over this is great. crazy I knew that it was be like kind of difficult to find someone that takes over my apartment because of the entire COVID situation people actually don't want to move but I want to move because I'm weird so I was like you know what they will wait for me anyway so why not just like end my lease by the end of September because my new apartment was like yeah we waited till September they waited like six months just to for me which was really really nice actually so that, that's what actually happened that's how it works and then you have to move and then you have to like usually moving day like you get the key the first of the month but my landlord they're like already the best because they're like oh you know what like moving days first of October like my lease starts first of the October and they're like you know what let me just give you let's just give like exchange the keys on September 17th so you have enough time to do everything blah 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 like really really nice and they allow me to live there two weeks ahead not paying the rent for those two weeks like I can't believe that they're doing this already and then last week I emailed them because my furniture the one I got for like one like for free basically I had to pick it up until last Sunday and it was kind of stressful because I didn't have my keys already because it's like next uh, next week I had the possibility to move the furniture to my parents place and then when we had to move they will move it to my place but my parents live like 45 minutes away so ask my landlord if it's possible to get like the key for just the basement because since Switzerland everyone has like his little basement room I will show you once I do my new apartment tour and they said yeah sure let me just send you a key so you can do everything you want so they sent me a key last week so I had time to actually move a lot of stuff already they are in my current place that I don't need 
in the basement. It's crazy. So my apartment is basically, it's almost empty. I have my furniture because the moving people are coming. And I have like some other stuff obviously, like uh, my, my clothes that I'm, some things I will probably bring like this week. And then I have uh, some plates and glasses, things you need, right? Because, I mean, I need that. So that's happening next week. I'm so stressed out. So basically every other day I I bring stuff there. Like today I'm going to bring some stuff over there. I put it like already in the basement where I live right now. Well, I don't have a basement like right in front of the entrance because it's a closed building, whatever. So yeah. Oh my God, this is so stressful. So the keys, I'm getting the keys next. Oh my God, I have to. I'm getting the keys next Thursday, the moving truck, moving people, like the new furniture arrives on Friday. And the problem is I have to hurry up because next Tuesday and Wednesday, I won't be in my regular office, I will be in Geneva. So I have to drive to Geneva on Tuesday morning. So that means that Tuesday and Wednesday, I I cannot go to my new apartment to bring stuff. So I, I basically have to do everything this weekend because on Monday I don't want to do anything because I have to wake up really early because I'm trying to leave at five. So I have to do everything this weekend. So today I'm going and tomorrow probably two. So that's what happens. Oh, this is this was that's what ha what's happening right now in my life. I'm moving. I think I'm gonna move every year because I moved last year, and I'm moving this year, and I probably will move next year. I'm just a moving person. I like I like to be excited about getting a new apartment. I'm not buying furniture because I'm not gonna buy everything new. I'm gonna buy some new stuff, like my couch because I hated my couch. It's gone already. Since, two, since June, because I was so over this couch. I just love that feeling of moving, getting a new place, and depending like on your budget, you can get like a, a better place, a more expensive place, a bigger place. Because right now, my apartment is beautiful. I love my apartment, the one I'm living right now. But so many stuff are just not, I just don't like so many stuff about my apartment. And my new apartment is different. My new apartment is lit. It's not, it's, for one person, it's big. I'm not gonna complain. But Switzerland has not like humongous apartments. If you wanna have like a 2,000 square feet apartment, you have, you don't see that very often. Even houses, if you have like a big house here, is 3,500 square feet, 4,000. 4,000 is like humongous, it's crazy. But you don't see those big mansions like, ooh, 10,000 square feet or 9,000 square feet. Like a big, 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 big house is 4,000 square feet. And a regular condo here is, if you buy, like usually when you, when you rent in a buy, it's different, but buying, a condo, for example, the one my parents live, and it's a pretty big condo actually. It's 1,200 square feet. Yeah. And I mean, it has like three bedrooms, two bathrooms. So it's a pretty big apartment, to be honest. And we live there like, oh my God, when my sister moved to back to Switzerland, I used to live with my parents too, which was like, Six years ago, five years ago, something like this. Because I always like moved to Zurich, moved back to my parents, moved to Geneva, moved back. I always moved back to my parents at one point. At this point, I was actually living with my parents. So we had like me, my parents, three people. My nephew that back then was like maybe one or two. My sister and my brother-in-law. So six people in this like three bedroom apartment. But it was perfectly fine actually. And my apartment now, okay, I'm not gonna tell you too much. I'm not gonna tell you about my current apartment. I'm not gonna tell you about my new apartment. But I have to finish this video because it's already long. Oh my God. 
I'm having troubles with editing because my computer is not I don't have like I have a MacBook but I don't have like super big storage and I always have to delete one video edit one video delete one video delete one picture I don't know it's just a mess it's just a mess but it's okay I'm just gonna end this video I love you guys I'm sorry that I'm late again but that's how it works I cannot do I cannot like I have so many stuff going on right now that woo, I need to stop talking okay see you bye love you oh my god let me just do my hand uh, thing